Thanks for tuning in for the latest stock market news updates. For more videos that will keep you informed, press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's jump straight into the video. The ongoing surge of artificial intelligence continues to redefine industries and shape the trajectory of innovation, which offers a tantalizing glimpse into what's on the horizon. Investment firm Morgan Stanley has outlined a series of 13 potential AI catalysts set to unfold throughout the remainder of 2023. These events, spearheaded by major tech titans like Google and Amazon, are poised to cast a spotlight on AI's transformative power and the opportunities and risks it presents. The backdrop for this tech symphony is Morgan Stanley's insightful perspective, as they assert that these catalysts hold the potential to shed light on the AI aspirations and vulnerabilities of each respective company. In an investor note, they underline the significance of closely monitoring these events, as they could offer valuable insights into the future trajectory of AI opportunities and challenges. Leading the pack is Google Cloud Next, an event scheduled for August 29th. The experts at Morgan Stanley anticipate a wave of new AI offerings tailored for the Google Cloud platform. This eagerly awaited event also raises the possibility of quantifying customer interest in AI and the potential emergence of fresh partnerships across the AI spectrum. As their AI journey unfolds, Google doesn't rest because another potential AI catalyst awaits them, which is the undated release of the Gemini model. This model, experts speculate, could be seamlessly integrated with BARD and the search generative experience by year-end. Moving forward to September 19th, Pinterest's Investor Day is poised to capture attention. The event holds promise as a platform to elucidate how the company's AI investments on the user and advertiser fronts are poised to propel engagement and monetization growth through 2024. Next, we have Meta Platforms, previously known as Facebook which enters the fray with a series of AI catalysts. The September 27th MetaConnect event takes center stage, unveiling new user-facing AI tools. This could usher in novel experiences, including large language model chat interactions, while potentially heralding new tools for developers, creators, and advertisers. We also know that Snap Inc. is facing fierce market competition and grapples with the question of their return on investment from AI developments. The anticipation surrounding Snap's third quarter results, slated for late October, is palpable. The results could offer insights into whether Snap's AI endeavors have bore fruit in terms of profitability and market positioning. You should also know that Roblox's Investor Day on November 15th shines a spotlight on the gaming industry's AI ambitions. The company is expected to showcase AI-generated 3D content, improved machine translation features, enhanced content discovery, and the integration of large language model-based non-playable characters signal a fusion of creativity and AI prowess in the gaming realm. Another company that has an artificial intelligence catalyst coming up is Unity Software, which has an investor event in November, where the spotlight turns to AI tools for content creators and the evolution of the company's marketplace model, all with AI as the underlying driving force. Next up, we have Amazon's AWS reInvent conference, scheduled for November 27th, which is a crescendo of AI innovation. Morgan Stanley predicts the unveiling of new generative AI capabilities and services within Amazon Web Services, providing insights into AWS's AI strategy and competitive advantages. The recent introduction of Agentic AI promises to stand out, setting Amazon apart in the AI landscape. Collectively, these AI catalysts offer a mosaic of insights into the evolving technology landscape, where AI isn't just a buzzword but a driving force that's reshaping industries and carving new pathways for innovation. As each event unfolds, it paints a clearer picture of how AI's transformative capabilities are shaping the world we live in. In other news, Abercrombie & Fitch continues to make waves in the retail industry. The company's shares experienced a staggering 24% surge in response to a remarkable Q2 sales report. What's truly remarkable is not just the increase in sales, but the resounding statement made by the CEO who said, and I quote, We are no longer a jeans and t-shirt brand. We certainly are a lifestyle brand today. This declaration solidifies Abercrombie and Fitch's departure from its traditional image and its embrace of a broader market. On the flip side, the once ascendant Peloton finds itself in the throes of a challenging period. The fitness tech company has witnessed a decline in its subscriber base, 
shedding 29,000 subscribers in the last quarter alone. This downward trend is reflected in the company's stock price, which has plummeted to an all-time low of $5.41 from its peak of over $167. Peloton's struggles underscore the competitive nature of the fitness industry and the challenges that arise when trends shift. The dichotomy between Abercrombie and Fitch's soaring success and Peloton's struggles paints a vivid picture of the ever-changing landscape of the retail sector. It's a reminder that staying relevant and adaptable is essential in an environment where consumer preferences and market dynamics can shift swiftly. The stories of these two companies exemplify the highs and lows that businesses can experience, even in the midst of transformative reinvention or technological innovation. The stage is set for continued transformation and adaptation in a world where success is far from guaranteed. You should also be aware that as the pumpkin spice latte season returns, Starbucks enthusiasts are embracing the autumnal flavors even in scorching 100-degree weather. Celebrating its 20th year, the iconic pumpkin spice latte remains synonymous with the arrival of fall. However, this year Starbucks is introducing new menu items that reflect evolving consumer preferences. The iced pumpkin cream chai tea latte and the iced apple crisp oat milk shaken espresso cater to the increasing demand for cold beverages. This shift mirrors a broader trend as cold drinks now account for 75% of Starbucks fall beverage sales, a significant increase from just five years ago. On top of that, Meta and Goldman Sachs are leading the charge in bringing employees back to physical offices after the remote work surge triggered by the pandemic. Meta introduced a comprehensive in-person time policy featuring ID badge monitoring and potential consequences for non-compliance. Similarly, Goldman Sachs initiated a renewed push for a five-day in-office work week. However, they are not alone in this endeavor, as even companies like Zoom are making moves to facilitate a return to the office environment albeit with some flexibility. Now for some technology news. As anticipation builds for Tesla's much-anticipated Cybertruck, the company is facing quality challenges that raise concerns about its ability to deliver a flawless product to consumers. CEO Elon Musk recently showcased a production candidate of the Cybertruck, providing a glimpse into the progress of the production line. However, keen-eyed observers quickly pointed out irregularities in the vehicle's fit and finish reigniting debates about Tesla's historical struggles with manufacturing consistency. Musk's acknowledgement that the Cybertruck is an extremely difficult product to build is telling. This statement not only underscores the complexity of manufacturing the unique vehicle, but also echoes an internal email he sent to Tesla employees, urging them to prioritize fit and finish. The Cybertruck's distinctive design, characterized by its lack of curves and stainless steel sheet metal, presents manufacturing challenges that differ significantly from Tesla's other models. While the Model 3 sedan and Model Y SUV have garnered acclaim, they don't share the Cybertruck's design intricacies. The quality concerns surrounding the Cybertruck resonate within Tesla's history. The company has faced criticism in the past for production issues like inconsistent panel gaps and ill-fitting parts. Such challenges could have far-reaching consequences for Tesla's reputation and financial performance. As Tesla edges closer to the Q3 delivery event for the Cybertruck, the stakes are high. Musk's assurance that the Cybertruck's demand is off the hook reflects the anticipation among consumers. Yet, the challenges of delivering a product that meets the high expectations of both enthusiasts and investors cannot be underestimated. As the company strives to overcome these challenges and achieve its production goals, the spotlight remains on Tesla's journey to produce a vehicle that is as revolutionary in its quality as it is in its design. The coming months will reveal whether Tesla can overcome these hurdles and solidify the Cybertruck as a triumph of innovation and execution. Lastly, PayPal Holdings, a fintech giant that has been on a trajectory of growth, is facing a pivotal moment as its active customer base experiences a decline for the second consecutive quarter. This unexpected trend has raised concerns about the company's growth narrative and the potential impact on its stock price, despite the strong fundamentals underlying its business. Amidst the backdrop of a challenging landscape, PayPal's earnings report showcased solid financial performance. Revenues increased by 7.4% year-over-year, and key metrics such as total payment volume and transactions demonstrated healthy growth. However, the spotlight shifted to the shrinking customer base, 
which stood at 431 million active accounts at the end of Q2. This decline in active users represents a significant shift in PayPal's growth trajectory, as its customer base has been a driving force behind its stock's upward momentum. This decline is particularly noteworthy, considering that PayPal has been expanding its suite of products and services, including the recent launch of its own stablecoin backed by U.S. Treasuries and USD. These endeavors are aimed at not only retaining existing users, but also attracting a new cohort of users to bolster its ecosystem. The potential ramifications of this decline extend beyond the immediate financial impact. PayPal's stock has taken a hit, declining approximately 35% in the past year, while the broader market has experienced gains. This divergence underscores the pivotal juncture at which the company finds itself. To mitigate the decline and regain its growth narrative, PayPal's management is focusing on diversifying its offerings and enhancing its business performance. The company expects an 8% increase in revenues for Q3 and a 9% increase for the entire fiscal year. Despite these efforts, the uncertainty surrounding PayPal's ability to reverse the trend and reinvigorate its customer base persists. PayPal's situation serves as a reminder of the dynamic nature of the fintech landscape and the challenges that companies face in maintaining growth momentum. As the company strives to navigate these challenges, the resilience of its business model and its adaptability will be critical factors that determine its trajectory in a rapidly evolving industry. The coming quarters will unveil whether PayPal can overcome the customer decline and reposition itself as a continued leader in the digital payments ecosystem. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, then comment your favorite stock market news story down below. For more engaging content, remember to go press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, happy investing.